Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the uh, Super Robot Mini Force Penta X from Season 2. I know nothing of this makes sense to you but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, so what is Mini Force? Mini Force is a Korean cartoon, sort of a cross between Digimon, uh, Power Ranger with a side of Transformers. So yeah, uh, basically the story real quick is a in a world sort of like Digimon, where a creature rules and the creature talks. Uh, the smaller, weaker creatures. Uh, who were always on their like you know um, the survival of the fittest where the stronger creature made rules the smaller weaker ones decided to uh, make a team of the uh, mutated creatures that had powers and created the mini force so the mini the cute cuddly creatures that were uh, no, that had to, that didn't have any defense basically recruited the mutant uh, the, the freaks of their kind to fight back against the bigger, meaner uh, creatures of the world, including humans, because some humans were bad in the series, others were good, blah blah blah. So yeah, season one had uh, the creature had uh, vehicles that transformed into robots and combined into a Power Ranger-esque uh, Zoid robot thing. And the season one didn't really interested me. Uh, the the vehicles transform kind of poorly but they were getting somewhere but season two really interested me because i really loved the vehicle modes so we have a uh a blue hummer right here blue hummer is really cool this is the smaller one this uh, belongs to the creature called volt so this is volt uh truck it's a humvee with a nice machine gun sniper rifle on top and it's pretty cool the plastic quality is a decent it's like soft plastic uh, it feels a lot uh, like a Hasbro a little bit a little bit more bendy but it's decent and then we have the red one uh, it's called Sammy which is a high-tech helicopter we do have giant blades that do spins to have a giant cannon on top on front and yeah and then we have the yellow one which is Max it's a dump truck. Uh, this one makes less sense, but uh, uh, still cool. And yeah, the dump truck. Uh, the problem with dump trucks is that they always have something inside the dump uh, thing. So yeah, uh, pink. Pretty much my favorite one. It's a, uh, a cement truck, kind of like Mix Master. Uh, this is Lucy, uh, the girl of the group. And she he drives a cement truck. <laughs> but yeah, the cement truck is really cool. Uh, I really dig it. And the final one is... Um, oh God, I forgot his name. Trey, I think. Uh, the tank. So, yeah. Cool big tank with uh, motors and thing in the back. It's kibble, but yeah. Still a really cool tank. We do have some wheels underneath. And... Eh, sort of kibbles, but eh, it's okay. So, yeah. Uh, season 2 had decent vehicle, and the uh, combine mode looked really good, so I picked them up. This is the KO uh, version. There is the original, of course, but the original will set you back around $400 US. It's such a high price. But then again, they are huge. Like, they are a master class uh, size figure. They are huge. Bigger than bigger than the Masterpiece. Bigger than the Leader class. They are huge. Uh, these are a bit smaller. So, uh, just for comparison with this, we have, like, uh, Earthrise uh, Hoist. And he is a little bit bigger than... So these are pretty much Voyager size, even though this is the smallest one, because if you compare with the bigger one, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, still kind of cool. And yeah, they form a giant robot called Penta X, but uh, yeah, we have instructions right here. Now we have a bunch of them for uh, each, but uh, each instructions is for all of the transformers well, well all of the uh, 
X Force members. So yeah, on on one side of the paper we have the, the instructions for uh, transforming uh, Volt uh, into robot and then into his arm mode because he forms the arm. We have Lucy's into robot and Lucy into uh, combined form. And we have uh, Max into robot, into combined form, etc. 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 We have uh, uh, Volt here again in helicopter and robot mode and then in combined mode. And uh, like I said, I think this one is straight. That's the only one I forgot is named the tank. But uh, yeah, again, from robot mode to tank mode and then tank to uh, leg mode. So yeah, it's all. All the instructions are the same, so whether you get one or five, it's all the same. So the figure themselves are pretty damn cool. I really dig the single figure, especially the uh, blue one, Vault. The Hummer is really good. I think it's my favorite right now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like I said, the plastic quality is good. We do have some nice paint details. Not a lot. Compared to the original one, there's less uh, details. Um, uh, for... Uh, all of these, maybe the pink one is visually less painted, but this one is the one that uh, had the most paint cut because he had much more detail in the original one. This one doesn't have a lot of detail, but we'll come back to this. So yeah, uh, Volt, pretty, pretty cool Humvee. And yeah, it's like I said, very solid, it's cool. We do have the gun that can unpeg. We do have the handle right here that opens up for uh, a robot mode. The uh, rifle is pretty cool, kind of solid plastic, and Humvee, we do have a gap right here, kind of looks like Swindle, it's pretty cool. We can transform it into uh, robot mode, uh, peg, unpeg these, like this, unpeg the side door like this, there's a peg hidden right here, and then you can uh, pull the legs out like this, and pull them out like this straighten them up come to the front right here and just slide the foot out until they clip so slide the other foot out until it clips like this and come to the uh, top right here so you can drop these you can unpack the arms right here and slide them out like this, slide the hood out on the side, like this. Now you have the fist like this, you can open up the fist, open up the fist, unfold the arm and drop it down, unfold the arm and drop it down like this. And then you just rotate the arms, rotate the arms. And then you take this part right here, drop it down for uh, making the chest. And then you collapse the waist, like this, and you have Volt in robot mode all done. You have this thing right here to get the flop. This part right here, the instruction says to uh, open them up, but it kind of looks goofy and it cannot go inside. It's odd because it really should. Oh, all right, you just had to clip. I'm afraid to break it, but it's really solid. Like, oh, yeah. All right, so going inside. So now you have Volt all done. And he is pretty cool, uh, kind of big. We do have his gun right here. Like I said, these are pretty much uh, leader class, uh, Voyager class figures. And yeah, we do have a uh, decent range of articulation. The arms goes like this. We do have a swivel up here. We do have an elbow joint right here. Um, no rotation of the wrist or the arm, really. Uh, the head can move side to side. It's kind of loose a little bit on mine. We do have nice details on the head though. Uh, nothing at the waist. The legs can sort of uh, split like this, but it hinders by, uh, with those panels. Now the instructions also say to uh, drop down and open this up, but it doesn't work. The instructions, I had to mention, the instructions are based of the original uh, ones, not, not the knockoffs. Because in the instructions, they tell you to do stuff that these guys cannot do. Uh, I remember, like, uh, 
The combiner head is it in oops the combiner head is it in that uh, compartment right here. The instructions tells you to uh, open up a door to uh, open up the the unfold the uh, the combiner head. Uh, this one doesn't have that. A lot of st uh, of this happens in the instructions. Like uh, it, the arms should. Um, store away differently on the helicopter in the original one and the instruction tells you how to fold them but they don't fold exactly the same so it's kind of odd like these panels uh, should be like opening up like flaps sort of like uh, side skirt they don't and it's really weird and the instructions really ask you to do it but it won't it's already stressed out I, I tried a lot inside the pin is really stressed out so it's kind of odd. They copied the instructions, but they didn't bother um, fixing the uh, the instructions for the, uh, the the stuff that's missing. Anyway, so the leg can move forward like this, go like this. We do have a knee bend, nine degrees, and also like sort of a second hinge, like uh, hinge right here that maybe act as a second uh, double G uh, double knee joint and nothing at the feet so yeah but still a really cool figure i really like blue on bolts and let's go with the tank one uh like i said i think it's trey's name i'm pretty sure it's trey i'm not sure uh tank mode is really cool uh the turret doesn't move at all this just just flops around because it's connected uh there's no articulation at all we only have like tiny wheels that's it so yeah, <laughs> we do have two big gap right here that bothers me a little bit, but uh, yeah, can't do much about this. Uh, transformation, you can pop these on the side just like this, pop this out, and then you can rotate the legs out like this. You need to remove the turret, so all of this pops out. Flip the feet out like this and bend this a little bit and flip the knee pad out, flip this open and the instruction says like this locks in but it doesn't, it just rests. Like I said, again another instruction that it wasn't fixed uh, with the, uh, the, the simplicity that was brought to the figure. So again, we can see it sort of go in but it doesn't, it just stops there. So. Like this, all right? Arms need to pop out like this. You can flip these uh, missile pods out, flip these out, bring the arms, slide them out like this, and bring the fist down so the elbow can bend now. So again, just pull the hand. It's really tight. Bring the fist down. So you have sort of uh, this. Now you collapse the waist, it clips in, and this whole thing right here goes in the back like this and rotates all the way around in his backpack. So now we have, uh, I think it's Trey, like, pretty sure it's Trey. <laughs> so we have him in robot mode. We do have the whole big cannon thing left, and we can uh, put this, like, using these clips, you can just. Uh, put it in his arm. Can we? No, I don't think we can. Yeah, these clips only go one way and... Eh, no, it doesn't go. So yeah, you can oops, pull this out using this cannon. Uh, the, uh, just the tip of the cannon. Now the cannon will pop in. Voila. You can put it on either side. It's cool. And this... I guess you can't put it anywhere else. Maybe on his arm, yeah, yeah. Make a shield on his arm using the other peg. So, yeah, he is a cabinet of a big fellow. Let's move the camera a little bit up. He does have a nice head sculpt. Oops. <laughs> does have a nice head sculpt. The head kind of moves a little bit, but it's so tight, and yeah, it uh, it hinders <laughs> on each side. Doesn't move a lot. Uh, the arms, if you move the backpack a little bit, the arms can rotate, move side like this. We do have elbow bent, uh, we don't have any swivel. The wrist can go up, but that's for transformation. And nothing at the waist, again, doesn't rotate. We can lift the skirt and the legs can move up. 
Uh, let's just remove the cannon, it's on the way. So the leg can move up in its ratchety. So it's kind of cool, it goes back like this. We do have a knee bend that goes more than 90 degrees. And not much at the uh, uh, the feet side going like this. And we also have like a huge crotch plate going down that really bothers me, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> Let's put the cannon back and the shield back. Oops. All right, so that was Trey. Oh. Let's move with uh, Max, the uh, dump truck. Uh, not much to do on this uh, mode. The wheels does rotate. We do have a big problem with them. I'll come back later because uh, it doesn't do much right now. This goes in right here. Uh, there's nothing really. It's just the robot. We do have some robot kibble in the back, well, underneath. The, the big major thing that I hate is the dump placement is just filled up with the legs but uh yeah and that's pretty much it uh you have like the wheels does turn but those doesn't and like i said these these are the connector for the arms and combined mode and i'll come back to this but this really bothers me it's the, the biggest problem in the figure so yeah uh, transformation you can remove this plate right here this will form a shield you can unfold this and put this out so now we have a shield now you unplug the legs and unfold them like this and bring them down you can separate them right now these are the heel spurs so you can pluck them out before you can move the uh, uh, legs further you need to un uh, unhook this Oops. stay up soldier so yeah, just plug this, and we're using this connector is gonna plug in the back right here, like this, really solidly. Unplug the arm, like this. Open up the fist. Unplug this, and rotate the arms forward like this. Now that the arms are forward, you can bring the legs forward, bring the foot forward, and now you have Max transformed up. And he is like the biggest, beefiest guy. You can give him his shield. And plug it in. Voila. I don't even know why he needs a shield. He's so huge and armored up, you know? <laughs> Arms uh, can rotate like this. They don't have much range. They do have that range. But again, it's really hindered by the rest of the robot. Nothing at the wrist. They... They seem like they want to rotate, but they don't. The head, again, as you can see, but the head barely moves. <laughs> it's moved. They're really huge, but yeah, the head figure, the, the, figure, the details of the head is decent, but then again, it just barely rotates. Her legs are actually pretty articulated. They, they go like this and do the split. And they don't, they do, they go outward like this, but not by much, you know. And the foot can rotate like this, rotate like this. Heel spurs doesn't do much, but it's there. So, yeah, we do have knee pads, but mm, they don't do a lot of uh, of range. It just opens up a little bit. Now this guy is really beefed up and kind of hard to pose. So, alright, Max is done. The Sammy now, the helicopter. So, uh, again, kind of like a futuristic helicopter. The blade does spin, but they are like super huge we uh, helicopter blades. Obviously, you can see the pattern. They make swords. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Uh, the cannon can be detachable. Uh, Canon does have this thing right here that splits open. This is for the combined mode because it all combines into a big gun also. So, yeah. As for the transformation for this guy, remove the blades. The blades will separate, making a double like blade like this. And we do have nice paint on them. Uh, helicopter mode, we have the arms that needs to rotate like this. Rotate like this. 
bring the shoulder pad down like this flip the wings in the back pull on the legs split them apart like this and bring the cockpit down you need to push also the the cockpit i don't know why but yeah and then push this down oh wait before you push this down you have this button right here then you need to lift up for the head and it's really tight and I nearly lost a couple of fingernails doing this but uh oh, so hard you can remove this it helps it's supposed to untie to detach oh, I already broke my finger yeah and a fingernail <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, I'm just gonna do this off camera. Yeah, using a tool really helps. So yeah, you have this part that does uh, detach, but it's also hinged right here. So once the head is popped out, you just bring this down and clip it in. And now you have uh, Sammy all done. Like this. He looks pretty cool. And it looks like this PD type guy. We do have his weapon. Uh, using this yellow clip, we can clip the uh, gun on his shoulder, like this. And as for the swords, well, using these pegs, you can just give him swords on each hand. Voila. It's not really good looking, but yeah, it works. <laughs> uh, just, uh, we do have rotation of the wrists, rotation of the arm, we do have elbow 90 degrees. The head uh, doesn't really move, I haven't been able, well, yeah, uh, yeah, a couple of millimeters, like, uh, yeah, it doesn't move at all. <laughs> Remove the sword, uh, kind of ugly. The legs does the split, just move the arms around like this, the leg does like this, do have the leg that move forward like this back like this and nothing at the knee nothing at the uh, at the legs at the, at the heels or nothing it's just very limited so yeah Sammy Ooh, the leg just popped out and they don't snap oh I forgot uh, knee pads really important bring the knee pads up yeah <laughs> so we have Sammy right here uh, just a sword and finally Lucy uh, like I said, my favorite uh, truck, the dump truck. And we do have a big cable in the back. This is where the combiner uh, comes back to it. We'll, we'll come back to it later. But uh, yeah, we do have the robot cable in the back. It's a really bright pink truck. But yeah, I mean, the uh, Constructicons are green and purple. Why not white and pink? <laughs> so not much else. For her, uh, you have rolling, and we do have the chimney that are kind of loose. Uh, the, that's a little bit uh, concerning, but yeah. We do have these handles right here because this makes uh, her weapon. Uh, these are sort of loose also, but it's not that bad. And the thing can rotate. Uh, it, it usually is supposed to be like this because you have the raw, the, the, the round thing for the uh, dump the uh, dump truck. So, but. Yeah, you can rotate it any way you want. Transformation, uh, really simple. You need to unpeg the wheels here. Like this. Fold out the arm, like this, and bring them down. Bring them down. You do have the chimney. You can either put them forward or backward, but they don't go like full, full ways. Kind of bothering. Straighten up the leg. Rotate the waist. Uh, uh, before rotating the waist, you need to unpeg it right here. Now you can rotate the waist. Just on, uh, flip the leg and just push on the, uh, the the canopy. Just push it down. Flip the foot out. Flip the foot out like this, and you're pretty much done. This is uh, Lucy's transformation. Now you can take her barrel off. You need to unpeg it. And her barrel is also her weapon. So it's like a giant wind turbine. So you can peg in right here. Oops, I unpeg the uh, chimney. Close this and put it in her arm. So yeah, this is sort of her weapon which generates wind turbine. <laughs> but uh, yeah.
that's Lucy. Now I'm just going to remove her barrel. And yeah, the head, the head is pretty cool. I really like the head. It kind of looks like a robot uh, had a cat head, but the head is really hard to rotate. Again, it's injured by everything. Arms can move like this. Do have uh, rotation at the arm. Do have a swivel at the arm right here on a ball joint, which when you move, you can see the paint gets scraped. Uh, nothing at the uh, wrist. We do have this that goes up like this, but yeah. Uh, we do have the waist that you need to collapse. I forgot about that. Like this the waist can rotate. So she's pretty much the uh, art most art articulated one. So you can split her leg like this, move her leg forward like this, backward like this. You do have a knee bend at the thigh. Is so small, and she has like huge calf. <laughs> Forgot to mention also, but when in truck mode, she has the mirrors. You can flip them down. Uh, foot does only rotate like this, but it's transformation. So, whoops, Lucy, forgot. just dropped her arm. It's a mushroom peg, so. All right, so it's pretty much it for the whole lot. And voila. So we have the Mini Force Penta X Team from Season 2. Uh, yeah, because in Season 1 they have different ferry vehicles, but Season 2 they have those vehicles. So, it's a pretty cool team. And now they can all combine into Robot. So, yeah. I'm just going to cut put them all back into vehicle, because this is the fastest, easiest way to transform them into limb mode. So, I'm just going to put them back in vehicle and come back right after. All right, so we're back. Now they're all in vehicle. Like I said, it's much, much, much easier transforming them into combined mode from their vehicle mode. So I just went with it. So, all right, let's start with Vault. Vault forms an arm. So first up, we remove the gun, put it aside. Open up the door and unclip the legs. Now leave it like this and just pull like this. The, we have like the joints right here. And these, uh, you can open these up, close these in, like this, and just put the legs back in. Same thing here, just, just close it in, close the leg, close the door, and you're pretty much, oh wait, you flip this open, and flip this open, and you're pretty much done. This is all there is in uh, combined mode. So, let's put him on the side. Let's go with... Uh, Leo, this is Leo. Uh, I mixed him up with uh, another guy. He's not Trey, he's Ray. <laughs> so yeah, Leo is, uh, spoiler alert, he was the bad guy from season one, and he joined up with the team eventually, so he's got a tank now, so whatever. So, uh, <laughs> transformation. Remove the cannon right here. You want to uh, unpack these sides right here and flip these panel up. Flip this up, flip this down, like this, and like this, like this. So the threads are like that, leaving the uh, combined port uh, open like this. You want to remove these parts on the side and make sure the foot clips in like here. Flip this open and we have a leg all done. So Leo. Yo, not Trey. <laughs> now you have these parts right here. Uh, you can come back with this one with the hole. Uh, this is a fist now. And you plug the hole on to vault car mode like this. Now it's kind of loose. It's uh, yeah. a little bit bothersome, but uh, you can maybe like put some glue on or your uh, uh, figure fixer thing. So, yeah, we have Vault done. Vault and Leo. Alright, let's go with uh, Max. Remove the shield. And, uh, yeah, you're pretty much done. <laughs> Just remove it. Uh, as for this, you need to unfold the legs a little bit. Bring them down. Bring the arms up like this. Uh, you want to flip these... Uh, so that the arms goes backward like this 
and flip this open also put this in the back so flip the arm on the side like this bring him up bring the arms down and rotate it on the back so that the fists are like that on the back and close the arm back and oh wait this part right here I right, close the arm back in like this now the legs needs to be brought down like this voila we're pretty much done you leave the foot like this and you can bring this down but uh yeah that, that's pretty much how it it is i like the feet up but yeah so we got the legs all done next up you want to remove the canopy and we have this part falling off and put it back in now the instructions like i said they are based on the original figures and this part right here has this part just flipping open and then you can remove this now this is the combiner head which is just a helmet that you plug in voila just yeah that's it and the shield to bring it back you can clip it right here on each side like this like this peg it in and now you have is chest all done so max done let's go with sammy the helicopter uh, pretty easy again remove the cannon bring the nose cone down and flip it uh, no just remove it like this and you only have the combiner ports here close the knee pads if they're not already closed and right here we have a yellow hole which will bring us with the combiner hand open up the fist like this and using this peg you just plug it inside of the helicopter like this so now we have the other arm all done and as you can see there's not a lot of articulation you won't have any elbow <laughs> All right, and finally, Lucy. I want to take this uh, cement uh, back thing uh, with the hole, the round thing on top. You want to bring the whole uh, round thing at the bottom like this. You want to uh, compress the uh, cockpit like this. You want to bring the cockpit forward and bring this out like this. Bring these down if you want. And it's pretty much it, really. You just want feet like this. So, voila, you have the leg done. So, for combination, uh, Lucy is the right leg. So, you just slide them in like this. And him also like this. Just slide it in also. Voila. And him forward a little bit more stable let's bring it back and move the camera because he is a big boy <laughs> and now here comes uh, the uh, hard part oh wait forgot this the uh, helicopter cockpit you have this clip right here that will plug onto his crotch now this is also a really painful part because it doesn't peg in perfectly it just sort of rest there you know that's it and yeah as for the guns you can open this up like this plug this in like this and plug this in here and now we have his combined gun you can give him the gun here we do have a tiny peg inside of the hand right here that you can sort of peg this in like this and then you can oops uh, doesn't hold too much but uh yeah do have the gun but uh, yeah it doesn't peg in uh, it doesn't want to peg it in mine so the peg is there the hole is there they do go in together but, but they do go in together but they don't stay together you know yeah this is the best I can do <laughs> well yeah let's move it anyway we can just close this in and using that peg we can plug it in here also voila so yeah it holds better but then again just the weight of it yeah so I'm just 
stalling because this part I really freaking hate. So you have the peg, and the peg is like, um, you can see it's sort of hexagonal, but it's uh, slimmer that way and wider this way. So you have to peg it real like this, and oh, this one goes in, just goes in like this. But yeah, you have to peg it in like this. All right, we got one, and the other one right here. Same thing, it's uh, squished here, wider here. So you have to put it in a certain way like this. And now we have him all combined mode. I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit back, uh, a little bit up, because, <laughs> yeah, just put it on a box right here. So move the camera down, because he is huge, very huge. And yeah, I've got the cannon, but like I said, it doesn't really hold now doesn't have any articulation at all. Well, the legs does move a little bit, but they're really hindered by everything. But my main problem is the arms. They don't really rotate. If you rotate them, they don't hold too much. And uh, they, 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 It's sort of like squeezing the peg. It doesn't rotate pro properly, you know? But yeah, like that part, like I said, it doesn't hold at all on mine. Whew. Yeah. So the arms, like I said, if I remove this, look at the peg. I don't know if you can see it properly, but the peg is all smooshed now. I really don't like this. It's all beat up because I'm rotating it. So we can slide it in, you can rotate it, but like I said, it squishes and mangle the peg and I really don't like it. So yeah, like I said, the arms can rotate it a little bit, but it's, uh, like I said, it squishes the uh, connector port. The leg can move, yeah, move a little bit back like this. The, there's no knee joints. It's very hindered. The legs does split, but uh, yeah. Like I said, the legs are a little bit too loose. That thing doesn't want to hold at all. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but it's still, the, the, just the look of it is really nice. He is really bulky, looks really great. Just for a comparison, we have MP10 right here. I use MP10 a lot because, you know, it's the kind of figure that I guess everybody already has because they've made so many iterations of him. And he's such a good figure. <laughs> and he's really cheap. So, yeah, MP10 goes at about his waist. And just for the fun of it, because I have it on next to me, is uh, G1 Combiner Rudicus. <laughs> Not at all in the same class, but yeah, I figured, why not? So, yeah. Move him. Like I said, it's pretty cool, but this is mostly just for posing uh, in your collection, maybe, if you want. Or, But it's not really articulated, you can't really pose it, it's just a big chunk of plastic. Looks really cool, but... Mm, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we do have articulation at the wrist, I guess. <laughs> Fingers can move yeah, up and down. Yeah, yeah, the arms, like I said, it mangles the peg when you rotate it. So I wouldn't uh, suggest it too much. That thing doesn't hold at all. Yeah. Ugh. I don't want to play with it. I don't it just pisses me off to <laughs> plug it back in. Because like I said, it, it's a clip, but the clip should be like this and then the, the, the port just go in and it should hold but right now it's just like this so it just goes like this and it doesn't hold it just frictional hold i guess all of the other clips are like this like it's sort of like a clip like i said a uh, c clip that clips on and you have like c ports like this that are like sort of a uh, bubbled right here's a little puzzle and they clip in like this this holes you know but this doesn't, it just like, just slides and stays there, so, yeah. Anyway, this is the uh, Mini Force Penta X KO. Uh, 
It's a pretty cool for thirty bucks. I think it's it's like thirty thirty four bucks on Sear Toys. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. It's still available. The figure themselves as standalone are good. Uh, maybe like Sammy is the least articulated, but they're decent. Uh, uh, Max is just chunky and uh, get hinder hindered by everything, but. Uh, uh, Volt and Lucy and Leo are pretty damn cool But the combined mode just be mindful you won't be uh, articulating and moving and uh, moving it a, a lot You know even the feet are not articulated uh, the, the they just stand there like they're just big chunks <laughs> But uh, yeah still a really good looking figure. I really dig the look so I do have uh, a lot of um, KO combiners on my uh, collection, they just are standing there looking cool, but I don't play with them. They're just in my library, my shelves, that's it. That's that's what I like. It looks beefy, it looks good, the color, all the parts, it's great. So I still recommend it. It's the KO. Obviously, I would say to go with the original one, but the original one is like 400 US dollars. Forget about it. <laughs> this is $34 for the whole set. So, it's a nice compromise, you know. The, I, the hand is loose. It's fixable. Uh, that crotch piece, uh, I'm going to look into it. The mangled peg scares me a lot, but it holds. Uh, it's really tight. Like, I, I forced it so much to put it in first to figure out how. And, yeah. But it holds good, you know. But, yeah. <laughs> it's just a big chunk combiner. And that's really what I like. It's a good looking combiner. Let's just put in his cannon for fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guess it bothers me to see on the, on the table. But yeah, like I said, it's just a big chunk robot that looks cool. So for 34 bucks, I do recommend it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Go visit Sear Toys, a great place. And uh, I thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, 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 all the stuff. And I thank you for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. See you next time.